Hi, my amazing creative friends, Aksanti here again. I am here to help you create art that feeds your soul as well as your family. Today I'm going to share an advice and tip for Adobe Illustrator textile designers who have been working on repeat pattern designs and sometimes you have been seeing this pesky line which is sometimes a dark line sometimes a light line in Adobe Illustrator of all versions and you are freaking out because you think that this is a problem and error in your repeat pattern designs but most likely this is an Adobe Illustrator bug but there might be a chance that it is a problem and I will tell you in this video quickly how to know if it's a problem in your pattern or if it's a bug and how to test it quickly uh, and how to know for sure that your designs are safe and you know that they are correct and you can sell and sell them to your customers all right stay tuned for that here you can see my vector pattern with hearts and the texture a uh, little floral texture in there that I created recently and uh, I wanted to demonstrate a quick example how to test your pattern so when you have a 600 by 600 you can find it in width and height in the transform panel 600 by 600 pixels uh, pattern as I create it is already a seamless pattern cropped uh, created in Adobe Illustrator uh, what I do is I drag it over to my swatches panel now right here is the new pattern swatch 2 uh, then I uh, zoom out a little bit and I move my original swatch to the side and then what I do I create a big ellipse over here and fill it with this pattern so now I'll just deselect the uh, line the outline but I just use the fill you can see here on the small scale you don't see any stripes anywhere so it's a seamless pattern to test you just zoom in as closely as possible and move around to see if you have see, see any stripes or lines so on this particular pattern you can see that the test is successful and it has no issues with the uh, bug or a thin line uh, i noticed then in adobe illustrator these types of kind of a pastel or medium shade or lighter patterns they would not have as much problem with the thin line hairline bug in adobe illustrator all right, so now you know how to test it. I was looking through other patterns and I ended up finding my another recent pattern, an abstract pattern, uh, which is this one that I created for my uh, winter collection, pattern collection uh, in 2018. Okay, so I just opened up the layers over here that I wanted to show you guys. So, and I did the same thing. I uh, selected my pattern, I dragged it over to swatches then I zoom out a little bit okay and then I created a circle in next to it and right away if you're watching this video on the computer you can see start seeing in a better definition that there is a line uh, across the stripes and horizontal and vertical dark line dark purple line across this pattern so people who are not familiar with this bug they get all nervous and they don't they think that their pattern is wrong but they cannot uh, fix it so what i do is i go back and select my black arrow tool and i click on the swatch then i go to transform panel and then I check again if it is it 600 by 600 pixels how I made it. Yours might be 500 by 500 on 1000 by 1000. But if you guys watch my channel, this is the size that I recommend. And uh, so it, yes, it is. So everything seems to be uh, good in this aspect. So the swatch seems to be correct in this aspect. Okay let's go now to i will show you if you are watching on the mobile phone or on a lower different in a lower definition here are the stripes that i created for you guys to show where the actual uh, issue is this here they are so you can see them in light green right now so this is where everything shows up all right let's delete them for now and now i will tell you how to how i go about it so first we checked that the tile is 600 by 600 pixels you buy, again yours might be a different size but just check if if it's a 
uh, right size and not 600 by 598. That will be your issue, then you have to fix the pattern. That will actually show an error on your site in your design, not in the Illustrator bug. Then we zoom in. Now you still see over here in the light, in the, bl the light blue, you still see the lines. Then we zoom in again, again, and we still see them, and then we zoom in again. And basically, when we zoomed in all the way, we don't see the bug anymore. So there is no no stripe. It's a, if it's a problem on your site, if you basically designed your pattern in a way that it shifted a little bit or something moved, then you will see a big line right here. The line will be wide and thick. But now I just moved it and I zoomed in all the way and I don't see any line anywhere, right? So this is an indication that you are facing Adobe Illustrator bug and see just right now. I'll show you once again. Here I on the, look closely on the white triangle. Here I see the line. I zoom in. I just zoom in before that it disappeared altogether. And here it disappeared. So this is Adobe Illustrator famous Adobe Illustrator pattern design bug that I wanted to show you and uh, go into detail right now with you guys in this video because I've getting I've been getting so many questions about that. Okay, let's zoom in again. So uh, here you know now that if you zoom in super closely and the line does not become thicker, but it stays the same, it kind of stays thin uh, for a while and then boom disappears. It might disappear much faster. You don't have to zoom in all the way. Uh, this is then the bug. Okay, I will show you if you would have an actual issue with your pattern. How would that look like? So let's just go to our pattern for a second and let's tr cut off a tiny little bit of the pattern on top here. So just a tiny sliver on the pattern. I am using my rectangle tool. I'm placing a tiny little bit of a, a stripe on top. So let's say you cut off some element Let's see if I can, okay, let's do that. And let's just go in and divide. And now I'm going to delete this top portion over here. Let me just check one more time. I selected everything and I'm looking at the guides and uh, red lines if there is anything sticking out. Okay, there's nothing sticking out right now. I'm going to zoom out again and I'm going to select all of these, this and group. Let's go to transform again, 600 by 600. Again, some, let's say, um, what if, you know what you guys, what if I just use the white arrow tool and delete a chunk of this this white stripe on top that I just created. Let's go to transform again. Okay, so now you see what I mean. Here you have width is still 600, but height is 598 and something, something. Okay, so let's test how that would look like. So if your pattern is actually problematic, if your pattern has a mistake, let's drag, drag it again to the swatches panel, zoom out, and this is our basically original pattern. Let's select the big circle and let's click on the wrong pattern. There you go. Now you have a big white horizontal line. Let's zoom it, zoom in over here. There you go. There you go. The line gets wider. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> so this is not the illustrator bug. This is actually a problem with your pattern. How do you fix it? You go in to your pattern and then you study it you see you kind of go in to a very very like very closely you study what's going on here oh oh that's what's happening i see here the issue with this pattern is kind of over here that is not correctly aligning with the artboard there are some weird things sticking out of it because i cropped it for you guys to show you so this was not my original pattern that i just wanted to show you how it worked and there you go so there you have it guys. This is my demonstration of 
the Adobe Illustrator hairline or thin line appearing in vector patterns uh, on uh, filling other objects with them bug and an actual error and how to dis differentiate between the two, how to study the pattern closely and how to uh, make sure that you will fix your pattern and that your patterns are correct before sending to a customers or posting for sale. All right. Um, mistakes, by the way, still happen. So even if you're super, super careful, things come up. So don't beat yourself up too much about it, but just remember to test your patterns before you post them for sale or send to the customer. And the little bonus tip that I like to use is going to view outline and then you will see your pattern in this kind of wireframe outline view. And then you can start seeing if everything is in the right place or not by zooming in. This is super helpful when you have too many elements and everything is, you don't know how to fix the pattern. Just try and look at it from a few different perspectives like this. Uh, this kind of a view outline will help you do that. To go back, you will just go to view and then GPU preview. There you go, and you're back. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial on Adobe Illustrator and the bug of the lines in repeat pattern design. Uh, and I hope you find it helpful. And uh, please uh, let me know in the comments if you found your actual errors in your patterns using my methods or you found out that your patterns were safe and they were a-okay. -okay. So please like this video if you liked it. This is how I know that you want me to create more videos just like this one. And uh, subscribe to stay tuned to the pattern vibe. I will see you guys in my next video. Grow, love, create. Bye!